Markle Sparkle is how flawless Meghan Markle is. Now I'm going to show you some of the items that I purchased that resemble Meghan Markle. My name is Tara Knapp, and I'm going to be getting fillers to look like Meghan Markle. The golden ratio refers to kind of the, quote, perfect textbook balance of facial features. Meghan Markle is a beauty icon because she has so many of the classic symmetrical facial features. This is a green dress. Meghan Markle also wears a lot of green, which she looks stunning in. I had my consultation with the doctor and she suggested that I do the cheek and jawline filler to give me more structure and angle in my face that Meghan has. So you can just picture what these lips would look like on me. My name is Kayla, and I'm getting lip fillers to make my lips look just like Meghan Markle's. I see my lips as like small, shriveled up, like baby lips. To me, Meghan Markle has the perfect lips. It's very common these days to have people come in and say they like the freshness of Meghan Markle, the way she looks. This is a trend. I actually have a crown that I keep hidden. I became a huge fan of Meghan Markle. She is just beautiful and the American princess that I wish I could have been. This is a journal that my friend and I created our junior year of high school. So I have a lot of things of Prince William. When I was in high school, I was watching a television show about the world's like top 50 hottest bachelors and number one was Prince William. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. I just wasn't thinking they would pick a British person. So I got online and I like was looking up St. Andrews and where he went to school and found out that they had a study abroad program for high school seniors. I applied and got accepted to this program. I was suddenly where Prince William was. I spent the full six weeks, like, low-key stalking him. It says, only a few more days until I leave. Well, a few weeks. I'm gonna have to find his room. <laughs> and it's just pictures of Prince William. <laughs> Prince William's flat, we were told, was, like, right here. And, of course, I, like, stalked that street a lot because I thought he'd be there. I 100% believed that I had a chance at marrying Prince William. And then once he got married, I 100% thought I had a chance at marrying Prince Harry. I kid you not, I'm so, um, yeah. <laughs> Here's Prince Harry over here. It says, hot stuff. I put, yeah, he is. I colored this chick's hair red so that it would be like we were kissing, because, you know. I was stoked when Meghan Markle became um, a part of the family. I love the fact that she's from California, I'm from California, and she just has like a really cool style and sense of self. Assuming that the doctor only does a filler in my jawline and in my cheeks, um, with the Botox, it's going to be 5,600. <laughs> If she does more filler in my cheeks, it's gonna be $1,800 per syringe. So it could be upwards of $10,000. What about this one? Arthur, come here. You sit. You ready? You ready? <clears throat> Good boy. I have put a lot of thought into altering my lips and making them fuller and getting lip injections for a solid four years. Meghan Markle's lips are exactly what I want. I'm tired of having little lips and I want it to actually fit with my face now. And I feel that she has the most beautiful, like natural lips that I've seen. And that's a fear of mine to get lips that look fake. These lip fillers cost about $950. And then my consultation fee was about $250 or $300. So, Together, a little over $1,000. I've been waiting for a long time for this. I've been saving up for this. All of my friends and family know how much I want this, and I'm finally just so happy that I finally can follow through with it. Totally ridiculous. This? Yeah. Doesn't it look good on me, though? You've always been a princess to me. I don't 
like you need fillers, but whatever you, whatever makes you happy, love. It'll even out. It's like it's about. Don't get addicted to this stuff. I'm not. Just getting a filler in each area is not gonna make me an addict. You never know. You never know. Kevin. <laughs> So I told my boyfriend that I'm trying to emulate Meghan Markle and he just laughed at me. He's supportive of me. Um, and not for nothing, he has like a mitz, Misfits jersey tattoo on his arm. So like his opinion is, you gotta take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> and Meghan Markle is the one who has inspired me to, you know, get some fillers and I don't feel bad about it. wrinkle right here. I have wrinkles here from them. duck face. Look. <laughs> you do always make I that have face. wrinkles. <laughs> I feel like every time, every I, time, every time I see her, she talks about her lips. Every time. We can't take it a selfie. You're going to see my top lip. We have to take it from far away. I feel like you will look like Megan after you get them done because you guys have like a lot of the same features. You have the freckles already. Well, thank you. But I won't see it until uh, you'll see it. I got my lips. Ew. I just have to take it off. <laughs> it doesn't even look bad. No, it really does. Let me see it. I didn't even see it. Every day I look in the mirror and put my makeup on is every day that I think about my lips. My friends always used to bust my chops about my lips being small and not being able to wear lipstick, which I'd laugh along with them, but it secretly always bothered me. I am beyond ready to look like Meghan Markle. I'm excited. Couldn't come sooner. <laughs> When I was about five years old, my parents got a divorce and I didn't really have friends that I could talk to about it or really knew what was going on in my life. On TV, I saw that there were two boys in England named Prince William and Prince Harry who were going through the same thing. The fact that you know, two royal brothers can be going through the same thing as some girl in California. It just made me feel better because everybody around me couldn't relate. And that's what started my obsession with the family. I could have never guessed that as a five or six year old girl, um, two brothers, Prince William and Prince Harry, who lived halfway across the world, would influence me to get fillers to look like one of their wives. It's just not something that you can comprehend, but it shows how this family has been a mainstay in my life and they've influenced me in all of these little ways. We'll put a little needle stick and then what we'll do is we'll run the needle in through here and inject as we pull back. The lower lip, we're gonna fill along this line and then we're gonna put the same cannula into this area and draw back and fill it. I feel like I'm drooling, and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're doing okay? Yeah. Okay, great. So he'll be right in. Sounds good. Okay. Feels numb? Yeah. Good. <laughs> it's just what we want. See the tip of it there, just past the center. This is the part that might hurt a little bit. And then I'm gonna just mold it. Open your mouth just a tad. So I can feel that where it is and the symmetry of it, and it's malleable. 
so I can sort of put it where I want it. Take a quick look. Ooh, <laughs> yay. I'm that. so happy. Doesn't it look great? And like, it just really looks natural. Yeah, and that's looks what, natural. exactly what I wanted. I have like the resting face that I always wanted. My mom said, is that a top lip? <laughs> looks so good, send more close-ups. And then my dad said, wow, Kay, looks beautiful, but you were also beautiful before it. Do you think we look alike? <laughs> I even wore the shirt. <laughs> relax, scrunch them together, mm. and smile really big. So you're definitely a good candidate for Botox in the forehead, glabella, and crow's feet to smooth out some of those etched fine lines. Um, you're gonna feel a couple of little pricks, but I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you really comfortable. Okay. Um, just don't forget to breathe. So here I am softening your 11 lines, these glabellar furrows that okay. you're making when you frown. And you're gonna feel a little prick right here. And again, we're injecting right on the periosteum. I'm injecting on withdrawal and always aspirating for safety. So we're going to do a lift and sculpt technique. And this is not only making the filler smooth and not lumpy or bumpy, but it's also lifting those malar fat pads back up into the position where we want them to be. Okay, so let's take a look. So, wow. It's just so super pretty. If you turn your head a little bit this way, you see that we've given you a little bit more cheekbone definition. You know, you were already very wow. beautiful to begin with, but I think this is just slightly, subtly accentuating yeah. your facial beauty. Hi, babe. You look great. Well, I'm a little red because yeah. I'm just like a bleeder. you're ginger, but yeah. yeah. But I love it. Do you, do you notice a difference or are you just saying that? No, I do. What do you think? Like, like really? I look great. Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm with you. I don't know, because you're just like, yeah, you look great. Yeah, you look great. Usually you're more talkative. I'm very, very happy that I got colors. I know. So. I'm really looking forward to definitely going out more and taking a lot more group pictures and being able to wear a lipstick especially. It feels unreal to be honest. I've always been somebody that's cared about their appearance. For me, if I feel good, my confidence seeps into every other part of my life. To me, like looking like I'm royal, even though I can't be one, is priceless.